In this video today, I will show you one of the new features of the update for Photoshop on the iPad. So what I'm talking about is drop shadow. So they finally added a couple of new effects that we can use in Photoshop for the iPad. So why do I make this? Normally on my channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and video editing on the iPad, but all of my thumbnails for YouTube, because I work solely on my iPad, I use Photoshop and I did even my drop shadows like you see here. Last time I wrote timeline and then I make a duplicate of that and I, I created the shadow myself working with opacity we don't have to do this anymore so I can now delete this one here it's gone so I have my text field here how can you add an effect and it's actually very simple you come here to this icon here and now you can come down here to the effects and under effects you can now add different effects like for example a stroke or a drop shadow so if I go to drop shadow now I can change the opacity I can change the distance and as you can see so much faster I don't have to do the step by myself anymore I can now even change my letters and it will come with this effect. I know from coming from the desktop, this is like a no brainer. Why wasn't even included from the first time, right? But for the last couple of years, I worked on the Photoshop here without that feature. And this is one of the features that will make my workflow every day faster because I work with a lot of drop shadows and now I can even using that in Photoshop for the iPad. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding on -ding the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.